This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are excited to welcome Dune Brothers in. We're making fish and chips with Chef Jason. They are also this week's roadie deal. Spend $10, get a $20 gift certificate. Can't beat that, right? No, you cannot. And your place, you specialize in seafood. Yes, mostly 90% seafood, yes. We awesome. have some salads as well. Well, especially around this time of year, being in Rhode Island, that's what we want to enjoy. We're going to um, have some fish and chips today. Take us through the ingredients of, of what we're working with. So right now these are what you considered underutilized um, species of fish. This okay. is Cape Shark. Oh, that's a shark, wow. Yeah, this is Cape Shark, other, also known as dogfish. Mm -hmm. um, this is butterfish and these are whiting. These are all fish that are caught off of uh, our coast and hardly ever get seen on coastal menus. Um, but yeah, you're using them. We, yeah, we use them to support the local fishermen that catch them. Um, and they get a better price off of selling them to us than foreign markets. Isn't that nice? Yep. We have some french fries here. This mm -hmm. is a three-day process to make these french fries. So oh, wow, yeah. So you're making them fresh. Making them fresh, yeah. And we pretty much make them every day. Great. Um, some of our tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. Lemon, just for squeezing on top of the fish. Um, we have a beer batter here. This is a... Uh, Beer mm -hmm. so, so yeah, beer. no, no, no. I, I got excited about beer better. It's, it's um, you know, great when you do that. I've been watching a lot of cooking shows or when chefs come in here and adding that beer does quite a bit to the batter, yes? Yeah, it's a little bit, it makes it a little bit airier um, with the effervescence of the beer. Um, and also it adds a little bit of a, like a yeasty, like sort of, it kind of reminds me, it smells like apples to me. That sounds weird, but mm -hmm. I, I love that flavor. Um, and this is just a little bit of flour that we dredge the fish in beforehand. Of and course. And then, most importantly, besides the fish, of course, is mm -hmm. we fry everything in 100% beef tallow, which is beef fat. Um, oh, wow. It's what they do in UK fisheries, um, and it gives a cleaner flavor. Uh, the oil lasts much longer, mm -hmm. and it's honestly, it's healthier for you than a canola oil. I can't wait to try it. Does it provide a nice little flavor to the fish as well? Not much. Not too much. Well, no, that's it's, good. It's, yeah. You're going to taste it for what it is, but knowing that it's a, kind of a healthier way to do it sounds great. We'll get cooking in just a bit. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Dune Brothers is the is the place. Fish and chips is what we're making. It is our roadie deal of the day. Get on it right now if you can. A $20 gift certificate for only 10 bucks, And you can go, go there, get some delicious uh, seafood, and uh, and check out the place as well. All right, what do you got? What do you got going on? All right, so like I said earlier, we have some butterfish here, mm -hmm. whiting, and some dogfish, or cave shark as we're calling it. Um, I have a dry dredge flour, and then a little bit of beer batter. Yep. So for our cave shark, I'm going to turn my stove up a little bit high. Just I'm going to start putting cold ingredients in hot oil, so it's going to start cooling it down. I want to make sure I maintain that uh, temperature. And Jason, that flour, just regular? This is just regular flour. Just regular flour, okay. Uh, and then this is uh, flour, beer, and egg. Okay. So again, just in the dry, then in the wet. So I'll let some of that drip off. I give it a little smack on either Still side. Still has a good cover on it. Yep. And then this is the key right here, is the swooshing motion. And make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom. You get a nice fried layer first before you drop it in. So it kind of seals itself together, exactly. dries that outside, fries that outside so it's not going to the bottom. It's not going to go to the bottom and stick immediately. <clears throat> right. Again, I'm going to make sure that we're up high here. And a lot of people, if you have a pan at home like this, it's it's easy to do. You don't need one of those, you know, I mean, they're not that expensive, but those other the, the other fryers that you can buy. That's right. You can, uh, as long as you have a nice thermometer, like a candy thermometer. Right. Anything that can go above about 400 degrees uh, it should be a good indicator of when work. your oil is ready. Right. So with the butterfish, I'll put them in the dry, into the wet, and then back into the dry. And do the same thing. Do the same thing. Yep. And I'll do the same thing with the whiting as well. And how long do these have to go for? These will probably cook for about four or five minutes, uh, maybe a little bit. Does it take longer because the skin's on those fish, or no? no. Same, same thing. Same thing, and uh, honestly, these are a bit smaller than the dogfish or the cape shark. Yep. Um, so these will cook up probably in about the same amount of time now that I dropped the cape shark beforehand. All right. It is our roadie deal of the day. Go online right now, roadiedeals.com, to pick up this roadie deal. A uh, a twenty dollar gift certificate for ten bucks. That. It's a great deal. Back to you. Some fish and chips on this Friday. Well, mm -hmm. have we got a place for you. Dune Brothers is the place. It is in uh, downtown Providence, and you can get that roadie deal right now by going on uh, the website, roadiedeals.com, or you can go to the Roadshow uh, website as well. There will be a, a link there. You can get a $20 gift certificate for only $10, and Can't you can that. get all of this oh, yeah. as well. Uh, yes. And speaking of all of this, Look at the collection of fish that you brought along. And you said this is really important to you guys to, to support the people who are catching us. That's true, yeah. Um, as I was saying, uh, whiting is a little bit more of a popular fish, uh, mm -hmm. but butterfish, 
you don't ever see those in say Whole Foods or uh, Stop and Shop or stuff like that. No. Cape Shark, um, that's rarely seen. I think there's a, one other place in uh, Cape Cod that serves Cape Shark. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's being sold to foreign markets. Um, in the UK, they use Cape Shark um, for all of their fish and chips. Oh, they do? Most of their fish and chips, yeah. And they're like, known for fish and, and chips, so you guys are chips. using yeah, the good stuff. Exactly. Um, we get our potatoes from Maine, um, from a Maine farmer. Mm -hmm. uh, Maine's known for some great potatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull these out of the oil right now. And tell us about this, this is lengthy process, process yeah, but well <laughs> worth it. <laughs> it's a well worth process, which you guys will find out yourself. Um, but this is a three-day process for our french fries. Mm -hmm. um, first we cut them and then we let them rinse in some water uh, and then we rinse them in a little bit of hot water until they bend and then we let those sit overnight in uh, water and then the next day we'll boil them in vinegar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let those freeze overnight and then the next day we'll oil blanch them in a lower temperature oil and then we freeze those overnight oh, my and then goodness. we'll bring these to uh, Dune Brothers and we'll fry them in a higher temperature oil and this is the finished product. Wow. wow. So once these come out of the fryer, we'll hit these with some kosher salt. Oh, a little man. bit of this Old Bay, not too much. Whoa. Yep. Uh, same with the fish. Season them up. That's a great tip when things come right out of the fryer. Exactly. To I give would. them a, a good salt. Excuse me. Let's sure. See. Yeah. Let's. Oh my God. And you know what? That Old Bay. Here. The Old Bay. You can smell it, and it smells. Oh mm -hmm. my God. It smells so good. We just like that little extra something with the Old Bay. Yeah. Um, a good season. Yeah. That French fry. But we're not trying to take the flavor away from the fish or the French fry. We mm -hmm. just. It's just a little something else. Let them both shine. Yeah. We talked about the fact that you were in Providence, but where are you? So we are in the jewelry district. Mm -hmm. um, we're on uh, Dyer Street on the corner of Dyer and Ship. We're a little red shack. You can't miss us. Yeah. Um, right now they're building the Wexford Innovation Building. Right, right across next the street, right? Uh, yeah. Right next to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, what's that other building? Uh, Shawmut is building on next to the Point Street Bridge. So we're in the middle of all this construction and there's yeah. like people drive by and they go, I never would have expected to see this little red shack you know, amongst mm -hmm. all this construction. That's what we did you know, a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah exactly. We were yeah. driving by. People refer to us as like the oasis or, you know, just something, it's just something in the middle of this construction. Yeah, going on. We, and you got a lot of life coming into that area, like you said, with all of that development there. So it's nice that you can provide lunch for everyone. And the yep. fact that you called it a shack, yeah. that's where you want to get people seafood. People love that. And especially with the weather we have coming up, mm -hmm. people will be downtown Providence. You're going to have a big weekend, uh, yes. we hope, with uh, PVD Fest and we're, everything else down there. So we're gearing up for that, too. We're totally gearing up for PVD Fest, and we're expecting a good crowd from that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like Providence just needed a shack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my business partner, Nick, and I just came here, and we we're just hungry for seafood. And you're New England guys, right? Yeah, I was uh, raised in South County, Rhode Island, and mm -hmm. my business partner, Nick, was uh, raised in Cape Cod, and we came to Providence. Um, after working, you know, in different cities, and right. we're like, where can we get some shack food? And it was the winter time, and of course, you can't go down Route One to get shack food. And we we're trying to look around Providence. Mm -hmm. We're like, you know what? This would be a great this idea. This would be a great idea. Yeah. So, what are some of the other things that you guys have there? Obviously, you have the fish and chips here that you've made today. Uh, yeah, I, we focused on the fish and chips today just so we could talk about how these are some underutilized fish mm -hmm. um, that we like to use. And, you know, honestly, we sell about 200 pounds of these bait fish a week. Wow. And the first time we got these in, we were, our minds were blown that, like, wow, people are buying this. People are eating fish off the bone. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're delicious. You'll try them yourselves. And uh, other than that, we always have um, chowder and clam cakes. Mm -hmm. yeah, shack, oh, shack favorites. Um, we have a fish sandwich, which people rave about. Uh, then we'll always have a special, um, like today I think we have like a grilled monkfish um, with some braised kale and salt pork. Yeah. Uh, we'll always have so like, really? yeah. yeah, we'll always have steamers. You're always um, mixing them up. Yeah. Any yeah. sort of That's seafood great. that you want. Those look awesome. And those french fries are going to let them cool for a little bit, but then Go we're definitely going to dive into those. Get that roadie deal right now. Mm -hmm, roadie deal certainly. Suck up.